The farm was built in 1986 and we started to introduce sturgeon in 1999. That's when we got a handful of future broodstock from Vancouver Island University and then our first production fish in, in 2000. This is the only white sturgeon farm in Canada. The sturgeon industry is still quite small. These are juvenile sturgeon that are about um, four months old. The main challenge for the juveniles is to get survival when they're small. When the egg is fertilized, it hatches about six days later and it's a really immature animal that comes out and to get that fish on to feed and, and uh, feeding well and surviving is, is a big challenge. So we do a lot of work with different environments and different uh, feeds on the early rearing to try to improve that survival. And it's, um, it's improving quite a bit now. So we're at a stage where we can continue with, uh, with production each year. These fish are 10 and a half years old, which we've raised from egg here at the site. The females we grow out for caviar, and the males will go for a harvest for, for meat. And the weight ranges probably from about 40 or 50 kilos up to over 100 kilos for the larger ones. They eat about half a percent of their body weight a day. These fish will first be ready for caviar in the spring of 2011, finally after almost 11 years. An average fish might produce about five kilos of caviar. It's taken a long time to get to the stage where we are from egg to the point where the sturgeon can produce caviar. There have been challenges along the way, but a lot, also a lot of rewards. I think it's going to be quite nice for Canada to have a new aquaculture species and one that can be sustainable and can add to the value of what Canada grows for aquaculture.